Happy Thursday, third grade. Today we're on math lesson four. So we've got facts, power up, and our lesson four. We're going to go ahead and get started right away on those facts. Please go ahead, press pause on this video. Then in your Thursday folder, your first sheet should be your facts. Go ahead, do both sides of that when you're done. Press play to continue with our math lesson. Good luck. All right, third grade, we're going to go ahead and correct the A side together. Go ahead, double tap, your, double tap your name, make sure it's on there. As we go through, remember, circle the ones you get right. If you don't get it right, just draw a line through it and write the correct answer right underneath it. No sweat. Here we go. 0 plus 1 is 1. 6 plus 4 is 10. 2 plus 6 is 8. 4 plus 0 is 4. 7 plus 3 is 10. 5 plus 9 is 14. 1 plus 3 is 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, 4 plus 1 is 5, 3 plus 0 is 3, 8 plus 4 is 12, 5 plus 4 is 9, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 9 is 16, 8 plus 0 is 8, 5 plus 3 is 10, 6 plus 5 is 11, 5 plus 0 is 5. Awesome, let's rock out the next column. 7 plus 4 is 11, 1 plus 7 is 8, 0 plus 3 is 3, 5 plus 8 is 13, 0 plus 8 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, 7 plus 6 is 13, 6 plus 1 is 7, 8 plus 9 is 17, 0 plus 2 is 2, 1 plus 1 is 2, 7 plus 2 is 9, 0 plus 7 is 7, 6 plus 9 is 15, 1 plus 2 is 3, 0 plus 4 is 4, 9 plus 5 is 14, 1 plus 4 is 5, 3 plus 3 is 6, 2 plus 9 is 11. Next column. 4 plus 3 is 7. 6 plus 0 is 6. 3 plus 8 is 11. 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. 5 plus 6 is 11. 0 plus 9 is 9. 7 plus 8 is 15. 4 plus 7 is 11. 7 plus 7 is 14, 9 plus 0 is 9, 9 plus 4 is 13, 7 plus 5 is 12, 2 plus 4 is 6, 3 plus 7 is 10, 5 plus 5 is 10, 3 plus 1 is 4, 8 plus 6 is 14, 2 plus 0 is 2, 5 plus 1 is 6, 2 plus 8 is 10, 5 plus 4 is 9, 5 plus 2 is 7, 9 plus 6 is 15, 5, 4 plus 8 is 12, 7 plus 0 is 7, 8 plus 8 is 16, 1 plus 9 is 10, 3 plus 5 is 8, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 2 plus 5 is 7, 9 plus 1 is 10, 0 plus 0 is 0, 8 plus 5 is 13, 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 8 is 17, 2 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 6 is 7, 6 plus 7 is 13. Last column. 4 plus 9 is 13, 3 plus 2 is 5. 6 plus 6 is 12, 1 plus 8 is 9, 0 plus 5 is 5, 7 plus, sorry, 9 plus 7 is 16, 9 plus 2 is 11, 7 plus, 7 plus 5 is 12, 6 plus 8 is 14, 4 plus 6 is 10, 2 plus 3 is 5, 4 plus 4 is 8, 0 plus 6 is 6, 8 plus 3 is 11, 7 plus 1 is 8, 
3 plus 9 is 12. 1 plus 0 is 1. 6 plus 3 is 9. 8 plus 7 is 15. 4 plus 2 is 6. All right. Awesome job. If you stayed with me and you got all of that, go ahead, just give yourself a nice big A plus for that side. Make sure you've also got the other side done before you tuck it away safe in your folder. All right, third grade, it's time for our power up. We're on lesson four. So we're on, it can see, you can see it says place value here. And then we're going right here where our power up is. Then that starts on page 20. Four. So right at the top, see how I always put page 24 tells you where to go. Make sure you do your facts, mental math, problem solving, and then we'll get going on correcting it. All right, so just press pause. When you're done, press play again, and we'll get to correcting those facts. All right. Thanks for working so hard on those power-ups, guys. When we keep doing those pow these power-ups, they really help us get faster at our math facts, get faster at doing things in our head, so that when you guys do your um, written practice, numbers 1 through 30, that gets a lot faster and a lot easier. So, so thanks for your diligence and hard work. Go ahead, circle the ones that we get right. When you get it wrong, just cross it out, write the right answer right next to it. Here we go. I'll make it a little closer. 6 plus 6 is 12, 3 plus 8 is 11, 5 plus 9 is 14, 2 plus 3 is 5, 4 plus 9 is 13, 3 plus 4 is 7, 8 plus 9 is 17, 2 plus 7 is 9, 0 plus 3 is 3, 4 plus 4 is 8. Next row, 4 plus 8 is 12, 2 plus 9 is 11, 7 plus 8 is 15, 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 1 is 10, 2 plus 6 is 8, 5 plus 5 is 10, 6 plus 7 is 13, 3 plus 7 is 10, 9 plus 9 is 18. Next row, 7 plus 9 is 16, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 9 is 15, 4 plus 7 is 11, 0 plus 0 is 0, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 9 is 12, 5 plus 8 is 13. Last row, 3 plus 6 is 9, 8 plus 8 is 16, 4 plus 6 is 10, 2 plus 5 is 7, 6 plus 8 is 14, 3 plus 5 is 8, 7 plus 5 plus 7 is 12, 10 plus 10 is 20, 2 plus 8 is 10, 7 plus 7 is 14. All right, let's get going on those, on our counting. Today it says, count by fives from 5 to 100. We'll start with fives. Remember, it'll sound like this, 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, let's keep it up. Here we go, 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 90, 100. Excellent. Nice job. We're going to add, work on adding 10, 20, and 30 to a number once again. So on our mental math, letter A says 66 plus 10. Remember, that's letter A in our book, A, 66 plus 10. Well, if we're going to do 66 plus 10, we can just take 66, take our tens column, 6, and just bump it up one. So we get plus 10 is 76. So A, 76. B, 29 plus 20. 29 plus 20. 9 plus 0 is 9. 2 plus 2 gives us so we get 49. Now remember, if we're going to add 20 to a number, we can just bump this tens place up by 2 because we're adding two more tens. C, 10 plus 76. 76 plus 10. Remember, commutative property, we can write it either way we want. 6 plus 0 is 6. 7 plus 1 is 8. So I get 86. D, 
38 plus 30. Take 38, you're going to bump it up 30. So I'm going to look at this place, and it's going to go up 3. So 8 plus 0 is 8. 3 plus 3 is 6, so I get 68. Next, 20 plus 6. Well, the 2 would go in the 10's place, 6 would go in the 1's place, so you get 26. F, 40 plus 30. 4 plus 3 is 7, so 40 plus 30 is 70. G, says add 10 to 77 and then subtract 1. What's the final answer? So what that means is I've got to do 77. I'm just going to write it right here so you can see. Add 10 to 77. So I've got to do 77 plus 10. Then when I find that, I'm going to subtract 1. 77 plus 10 is 87, and then I'm going to subtract 1. What's 1 less than 87? 86. So my final answer is 86. Notice I added 10 and then just backed up 1. Problem solving. It's right under letter G on page 24. Look in our book. It says, choose an appropriate problem solving strategy to solve this problem. Lorelei has a total of nine coins in her left and right pockets. How many coins? Nine. She has some coins, at least two, in each pocket. Make a table that shows the possible number of coins in each pocket. Now, this should sound really familiar because we did one like this yesterday, too. Remember, we had this table set up. Now, what makes this one different is it says that they have to have some coins in both pockets. So we can't have zero in one and nine in the other. We've got to start with at least two in one. So see how we had two in the right, seven in the left. Two and seven. Bump it up one, bump it down one. Three and six. Well, let's keep bumping that up. Four. Well, we've got to take this one down. Five. Bump this one up. Five and four. Those two just switched. Bump it up again. Six. Bring it down one. Three, seven, and two. Now, we can't bring this any farther. We can't put eight in this pocket. Because if we had eight in this pocket, we'd only have one there. And our problem said that we had to have at least two in each pocket. What we had to do was make a table. So this is our table. So go ahead and just, sorry for the squeaky pen. Go ahead and just circle that, because that's your final answer. All right, you are all powered up, ready for math lesson four. We'll get going on it. Make sure that you take and tuck this sheet into your folder so that you can stay safe and that I can give you full credit for doing awesome work. Math lesson four is all about place value. Let's go ahead and look, take a look at our objectives. Today you will learn how to use diagrams to show the place value of hundreds, tens, and ones. How to identify the place value of a digit of a number. Today you're going to need three things. One, you'll need your math book. Two, you'll need this sheet that we always use. It's in your Thursday folder. And three, today you will need your math folder. Now some of your folders are black, some of them are blue. How you can tell it's your math folder is when you open it up right inside, it'll have this colorful sheet of paper with math folder in third grade right there. Today we're going to look at page 2A of our folder. Okay, so if you open it up, turn to the first page, you'll see your multiplication chart. Turn to the second page, you'll see your place value chart. Now, flip it this way is the way that you read it. Now, we're going to use this main chunk right here, the one that says hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay, so hundreds, tens, and ones. All right, if you ever need to go back to and refer to it, it's in your math folder. I'll also have it up on my board while I'm teaching you the lesson today. So that little section of that place value chart that we were looking at had hundreds, tens, and ones. Now, I also copied it for you on this sheet where you can see hundreds, tens, and ones. Now, at the top, in those three blanks, I want you to write... 321. 321. So this is our hundreds. This is our tens. This is our ones. Okay? We have 321. Now this 300, 3 in the hundreds place means 300. 
right? This isn't just worth three. This is actually worth three hundredths. Same with the two. This isn't actually worth just two. It's worth two tens because it's ten, two in the tens place. So that's actually worth 20. And then a one in the ones place is just worth one. So you've got one. So we have 321. Now, example one in your book is going to look at money. When Mr. Saxon puts money in our book, here's how he's going to put it. So you can see the first one there is our hundreds. See how there's that little hundred in the middle? That can show you that it's a hundred dollar bill. This one's our tens. See, you can see the ten right there. It shows you it's a ten dollar bill. And then this one says one right there. It shows you that it's a one dollar bill. Now, the example wants us to see how much money is shown in that picture below. So look at those hundreds and count up how many hundreds are there. Well, we've got one, two. So that would mean we put two in our hundreds place. Now next to it, it has its tens. And count up how many $10 bills are there. Now on my board, I just drew them out like this, all separate instead of kind of stacked on top of each other. If you ever have to draw it in your math lesson, that's how I'd recommend doing it. Just stacked on top of each other like this. Well, there's four there. So we'd write a four in the tens place. Then we have our three ones, so we write three in the ones place. I put H for hundreds, T for tens, O for ones. Now remember, this doesn't just mean two. It means two hundred, right? Because if you've got two hundred dollar bills, you've got two hundred bucks. This four doesn't just mean four, it means forty. Ten, twenty, thirty, because you've got forty there. This three in the ones place, well, you've just got three $1 bills, so that one does just mean $3, okay? So you've got $243. In your example one, you can just have 243 written. You don't have to copy down that picture. Sorry, I'm writing pink for you. So you can just have 243 written there for example one. All right. Example two, now we got to do it backwards. Example two says use a diagram to show $324 using $100 bills, $10 bills, and $1 bills. So we need 324. If we put that on our hundreds and ones charts, that would be 320. Four. So now in the example two spot, let's go ahead and draw that diagram. Practice how we would do that. Example two, you have it on your sheet. It should be just, you can use this entire, you can use this entire blank space right here. Two, sorry, 324. So we, we need three $100 bills. One, two, three. Label each of them 100. Two ten dollar bills. Ten, ten. And then how many one dollar bills? Four, right? Because we got four in the one spot. So we have three hundred twenty four. Okay? Three hundred twenty four. Now, example three is going to look more at that, um, look more at that place value, as well. So example three, example three says digit seven is in what place in seven hundred fifty-three? Well, if we're going to put this number in our place value chart. We've got to start with the last number that we know is our ones digit. So the three was in here, the five's right in front of it, the seven's right there. So digit seven is in what place? It's in the hundreds place, right? You can hear it when you say the number two, 753, right? We got hundred right after it, so it tells us that seven is in the hundreds place. So your answer for example three, just write 
hundreds, hundreds, in the hundreds place. All right, we're ready to move on to our lesson practice. Lesson practice is on page 26. 26, we're right here at the top where we get into our lesson practice. You've got spots for it on the bottom of your, um, on the bottom of your sheet that we're practicing on. Let's go ahead and look at A. It says use money manipulatives or a diagram to show $231 using hundreds, tens, and ones. So $231. Now we've got to use our diagram. So we're going to go ahead and do two $100 bills. $100, $100. Three $10 bills. And then we only need one $1 bill. Notice how I did it kind of the same way. I'd do it if I had a place value chart. So I've got hundreds, then tens, then ones. I'm going to keep them kind of all in their own separate columns so it makes it really easy for me to understand. Now, B says use money manipulatives or draw a diagram to show $213 which is less, 231 or 213. So we did 231 here. We're going to do 213 here. I'm going to try to make them about the same size so it makes it easy for me to tell. So I got my 100s. I got my 10s. And then I got my 1s. One hundred in both of these, ten in this one, ones in all of these. Remember, if this is small on your screen, hit that button in the bottom right hand corner of the video where it's got kind of the four little lines, and that'll make it full screen so that I'm a little bit bigger and easier easier to see. Now, if you heard there were two parts of that question. It said which is less? Two hundred thirty one or two hundred thirteen? Well, 231 and 213, they both have two $100 bills. So that makes them the same. So we got to go to the next column and see which one has more $10 bills. This one has three $10 bills. This one only has one $10 bill. So this one is going to be less. Now, even though this one has more $1 bills, this one has more in the tens place, so it gets to be a bigger number. Sorry. This one has more in the tens place, so it gets to be a bigger number. So when we're talking about which one's smaller, we're talking about 213. So to give that answer, you could just write 213 is less. Because right, that's what the question asks us. Which one is less? Moving on to C, D, and E. C, D, and E, we're looking at that digit 6 in those numbers. So it says the digit 6 is in which place in each of these numbers? So the first number is 16, second one is 65, and the third one is 623. We're looking at the 6 in all these numbers. So let's go ahead and just underline that 6 so we don't get distracted of which digit we're looking at. So underline the 6, 6, 6. Now if we've got our chart, ones, tens, hundreds. We could just put those numbers in and then see where they are. So 16, we're going to start with the six, with the ones column. So 16. Well, which one is the six in? The ones. So 16, the six is in the ones column. Next, 65. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. If we start with the ones, we have 65. Well, here the 6 is in the tens column. Okay, so we got tens for D. Then finally, let's look at 623. This one we're going to use all three of those places. So 3 is in the ones place, 2 is in the tens place, 6 is in the hundreds place. So where's that 6? Well, it's in the hundreds place. So for, uh, for E, you'd write hundreds. All right. 
Let's take a look at F. F says, use three digits to write a number equal to five hundreds, two tens, and three ones. Well, if we've got our hundreds, tens, ones, it says five hundreds, so that means a five in the hundreds place. Two tens, so a two in the tens place, and three ones, so you need a three in the ones place. So we get 523. Excellent. That's all of your lesson practice for today. We'll go ahead and get started on your written practice. That starts on page 26, right at the, under this blue box, okay, page 26. Your work for today, I already got quite a few of them started for you, but number, like on number 17, see here, I set it up for you, but you still need to find the final answer. Okay, so do all the work in this big box and then write your answer over at the side here. All right, you'll notice down here for number 30, we had to write a word problem. When we had to write that word problem, I had a ton of work that was done in this box. It was a little bit too much to squeeze in this tiny box. So I just wrote C box here. What that means is you want, when I'm correcting it, you want me to look at the box for 30, which is where you did most of your, um, where you did most of your work. All right? If you have questions on any of these, make sure to e either reach out to me on GoGuardian chat on your computer or ask me at Zoom, um, at Zoom this afternoon.